Hello there, Maria here with another messy painting to uh, alter. I have so many old paintings that I never knew what to do with, so I added a lot of marks and just to get myself started. I'm trying to use up all these old canvases because uh, uh, we, uh, you know, don't want to buy new canvases all the time if you have a stack of them just sitting around. So I, I started just randomly adding some paint. I have no clue what I'm doing. So it's kind of interesting to um, follow through and see how it uh, turns out. I'll have to say that uh, it it was a difficult project. It was probably longer than I had planned. So you could always watch it in two parts. I mean, turn it off, turn it back on, not in parts. <clears throat> so this piece measures uh, 12 by 12 inches. I like that size. It's uh, it's good for making uh, videos, but also you can explore a lot on a smaller size. When you paint large, you're going to have a lot more challenge to fit everything in the two, or you have like too many areas to put together into a cohesive whole. So when in doubt, use some white. That's that's one of my rules because white is a <clears throat> it coordinates everything. It it and it pulls everything together. So this is shaping up to be some sort of animal. I had not planned on that. Whatever it is, a sheep, a goat, a donkey. So I, I will leave him or her for now and see where the rest of it goes. As you can see, I have some of my favorite colors that is blue, or different shades of blue and turquoise. So when there are spots and marks and you don't know whether you want to keep them, it's good to just paint around them because if you do decide to keep them, they're there. You don't have to put them back in. I'm adding some gray here just to uh, tone everything down a little bit. When you choose colors that you like, uh, it's it's easier to make it work all together. Okay, I've got some neon pink. I like that too. Trying to picture uh, shapes. I'm doing that. So I, I pulled out a stack of scrapbook paper and I was going to make a roof. 
on a house, so I just outlined where I think it should go. So the goat creature is standing on the roof of a building. I had pulled out a bunch of papers, but uh, I decided to just go with the white with some text on it. Because it, uh, it too busy it would pull away from uh, the focal point of the animal. I think he will be the focal point, but that's not totally sure as yet. So I decided to paint the building a sage green. And I'm leaving those flowers. and a gray for the door. And then I thought the white was a little too bland, so I took some yellow and I, I wet a paper towel to rub some of it off. And I was going to make another building next to it, but then I wasn't sure. about the roof color. It is a lot of trial and error and uh, this is all intuitively painted, but if things go wrong, you can always uh, paint over it. With just so and start over with a fresh canvas. So I'm adding a little more contrast by adding a dark building next door that will make the front building stand out more. It's like I have a bonus building to the right of that blue. I didn't plan on that. Lots of Mod Podge to keep, to keep it all down, all the edges secure.
There was already kind of a roof on that last building. So I added some more dots to it. Working on unifying what I already have. You really can only see as far as the next step. I decided to add one of my flowers down below in the corner that will hide the edges of the buildings. And I leave the patterns inside the flower. Bringing in some more white. I know I want to get rid of that blue in the middle. And I'm adding for, for the ground, I'm putting a dark purple. I noticed that the canvas is not it's partially hidden at the bottom there. But it just surrounded everything with the dark purple. So there was a shape down below there, also kind of looked like an egg. So I painted a, or I drew a line around it. Sorry that it's kind of half hidden there, but um, you'll see it later. And then I just outlined around it. All the shapes don't really have any uh, meaning or uh, reason they just appeal to me i love that pink and green together I didn't know what to do, so I just added some pink. I'm 
still really concerned about that top part with the red blotches. I'm looking at trying to figure out here. Added a little more purple. I lost the clip uh, when I was editing. The, as you can see, I got rid of the, the 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 blue part that was all around that flower, pink flower in the middle. And I decided to make a tree out of the red blotches and covering up. Uh, some of that uh, orange or red. Of course, the green uh, does not cover it really well, so I had to let that dry for a bit. And I put down some white to help cover the orange. So I'm adding a little more uh, purple there in the corner. So now I have a ground for everything to stand on. And I was happy with that. And if you look to the right, you can see that I went in with my charcoal pen and drew around those two back buildings to make them more defined. I like the kind of uh, the edge is not sharp, it's uh, diffused, so you don't get any sharp lines, and that's why I like to use charcoal. It, you cannot use a, a brush varnish over charcoal, it will smudge. So I have a spray varnish, an acrylic spray varnish that I use when everything is done. And I spray two coats. You can find them at any uh, craft stores. And make sure it's an acrylic if that's what you're using. So I decided to pull that part together to make it more of a sky with a light blue. And I'm covering all those marks. I debated where to paint everything pink in that area. Decisions, decisions. I felt that everything was busy with the buildings and the tree and the animal. 
and the flowers. Uh, I just had so much going on. I had to pull it together. But I did decide to add a pink building. So I used, I tried to use some of the papers I had already pulled out. Something subtle. I have a saying when when I start on a project and I have no clue where I'm going with it, I say to myself, don't be precious. Don't look at everything like I, I cannot paint over it. Don't be precious. I say that and then I lay down some bold color. <laughs> so it's a good way to remind myself that uh, Everything can be altered and painted over if it doesn't work. It actually makes you very uh, relaxed about the whole thing. It's like life, everything new, it's, it's an exploration. I went back in with the my pens to add more detail. And I have some paint pens that I use to to make the flowers a little more distinct. They had gotten painted over partially. I don't know why I even kept those, but I wanted to. And here is my charcoal pen in action. You can already see it's more that got a little too fuzzy, so I used a rubber um, piece to erase some of it. I filled the, the green back in now that the white was dry. I gotta paint some eyes for the the animal. So I use some gray and two nostrils. I'm calling this painting uh, mixed media. The 
apple thief. I thought that was uh, appropriate. <laughs> It's funny how one shape can can uh, set the tone for the entire piece, like that animal set the tone for this one. You can use a brush on, if you want a real glossy surface, you want to use a brush on uh, varnish, you can spray varnish a coat first, let it dry, and then uh, you can brush the rest on. It's not going to smudge after you protect it with one coat. Sometimes I really like the glossy varnish because it deepens the colors so much. So I'm just like adding on a few details here at the end. Bringing in a little more white, kind of balance the animal at the top. I always spend a fair amount of time looking at it. And then I went to the bathroom and looked at it in the mirror. I have a big mirror and you can really see all the flaws or all the things that you don't like about the piece and you can fix it. So after doing that, I decided I wanted more turquoise. To bring it all together so that's what i did but you thank you so much for watching and i hope you got inspired to work on your own find some old canvases and uh, and try this i think you will have a good time thank you check out my other videos and my channel for more inspiration